Our Penny Griego reports on just what some of them are up against. That's right, and it spins, 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 spin, and then it comes out nicely and set. That's very nice, very good. Ten-year-old Michelle Lensick hopes her ice skating skills will be good enough to get her into the Winter Olympics in eight years. Over the past three and a half years, with five hours of practice a day, she's sacrificed a lot. I don't spend time as much as my other friends do at, you know, houses, slumber parties, everything. I don't spend that much time. Yes, so. But it doesn't bother you? Well, sometimes if it's something really fun, it does, but not not usually. She gets up at five. She eats, gets ready fast. She eats a little breakfast in the car. We get here, she practices. But if she didn't want it, I wouldn't bring her. Experts say that's critical. The child must make the commitment for him or herself not to please a parent. They also say the child must have a broad base. If not, failure could lead to depression. What if you haven't made friendships? What if you haven't developed much of a social ability? What if you haven't done well in school, haven't developed your intellect? You've really impoverished those other resources. And again, the head has to be up. Michelle works with John Nix, an Olympic coach of more than 20 years, who says even if the skaters don't succeed on the ice, they take away the discipline to succeed elsewhere. I've coached uh, perhaps upwards of eight or 900 young people between the ages of perhaps six and 22. And of that uh, number, uh, most of them have gone on uh, for very successful and fruitful lives. Uh. And what time do you have to get up? Six. Six o'clock. Good luck. Penny Griego, Channel 2 News. So uh, here's a quick recap now of the very latest we know in the Kerrigan attack. The bodyguard of rival Tanya Harding reportedly confesses he arranged the brutal attack. Harding, meantime, canceled an appearance with other Olympic skaters in Virginia. All this could mean torrent skater Michelle Kwan will now head to the Olympics instead of Harding. At the moment, that is still a very open question. Be sure to stay uh, with Channel 2 for the ongoing coverage of this story. The Olympics begin in Lillehammer just one month from tonight. Really? Yeah, but uh, I just blew it off as, as nothing. I, I, I thought he was just a braggart. But you knew he was Tanya Harding's bodyguard. No, I didn't. I didn't know that until until somebody at school had told me. You had no idea he was associated with the skater. No, I, he might have said it, and I just didn't. I didn't know who Tanya Harding was until the other day. How much money did he offer you? He offered me sixty-five thousand dollars. Sixty-five thousand dollars to kill somebody. To kill somebody. Now, why didn't you immediately report this to the police? Well, I thought he was. I thought he was. It was just one of his big stories. He's told me all kinds of bizarre stories. Like what? Well, that he, he, he was uh, the owner of some big corporation that, uh, that did stuff like this, that, that hit people, and that he worked for different world leaders in, in uh, third world countries, and he was involved in assassination plots, and just really bizarre stuff that was, was too hard to believe. Looking back at it, if you had gone to the police, you may have prevented this attack on Nancy it, Kerrigan. Yeah, I feel really bad about that. I wish I, I would have taken him more serious. When he, I, when he approached you, was he serious or was he laughing or what was his demeanor? No, he was serious, but it's just the way he talked. It was, yeah, his demeanor was, was serious. When all this happened in Detroit, did you go immediately to the police? No, I still didn't. I still didn't put two and two together. It's hard to believe, Mr. Reese. Well, I didn't watch, I don't watch the news that often. I didn't even, I wasn't paying that much attention to anything. And when did it dawn on you that you were involved in a periphery um, in this case? When I seen on the news that uh, when he was escorting her through the airport and they said there might be a link between, uh, between Nancy Kerrigan and uh, Tanya Harding's bodyguard. Then did and you then, go to the police? Then I called the FBI. Then you called. All right, Mr. East, thank you very much for speaking with us today. And I'm sure this case will continue. We will stay on top of it. Ahead. Sports story of the week, the attack on Nancy Kerrigan. We have information now for you. More arrest warrants are being issued today in the attack on skater Nancy Kerrigan. That comes after bail was posted for Derek Smith, one of the three men arrested in the plot to hurt Kerrigan. As John Kleekamp reports, the skating champ Tanya Harding emerged from her home today, but she had little to say. 
Trying to sound upbeat, Tanya Harding and her husband Jeff Galuli talked briefly with reporters staked outside their home. Go ahead. Can't talk about the specifics. Sure. And, uh, you know, we're just as anxious to talk to you guys as you are to us, and there'll be more in a few days. Yeah, okay. hopefully. How are you feeling right now? It's been a long week, but we're feeling okay. Yeah. Any plans, at least for the near future, as far as I'm hopefully practice? to get some rest, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> really? You guys too, huh? Yeah, yeah absolutely. See you later. Okay. Okay. Bye. While the couple's being careful not to say too much, an investigative source in Portland says the three men already arrested in the alleged plot are saying plenty. And all three have implicated Galuli as the mastermind behind the attack on figure skater Nancy Kerrigan. The source also says lawyers for Harding and her husband are arranging a private lie detector test for the couple, the results of which will determine whether Harding and Galuli will talk to investigators themselves. As the investigation continues, questions about Harding's possible involvement have not yet been fully answered, and the Olympic clock is ticking. Lillehammer is, is close. Uh, I don't think all of this can be settled by Lillehammer, so we, we really must uh, take on some hard decisions uh, with all the information uh, that we now have. At this point, it may not be enough information to implicate Harding in the plot, but it could be enough to cost her a shot at the Olympic gold. In Portland, I'm John Kleekamp reporting for ABC News. This is World News Saturday. Here's Carol Simpson. Good evening. U.S. figure skating champion Tanya Harding came under mounting pressure today to speak out or drop out of next month's Winter Olympics in Norway. Investigators are now focusing on Harding and her ex-husband after reports that several people have implicated them in the assault on rival skater Nancy Kerrigan. The fear now is that regardless of her guilt or innocence, Harding could hurt America's chances in Norway. The latest from ABC's Ken Kashiwahara. Despite a growing number of allegations that they were both involved in planning the attack on Nancy Kerrigan, Tanya Harding and her husband Jeff Giluli today refused to discuss the case. We can't talk about the specifics. Sure. And, uh, you know, we're just as anxious to talk to you guys as you are to us. And There'll be more in a few days. Yeah, okay. hopefully. How are you feeling right now? It's been a long week, but we're feeling okay. Yeah. Any plans, at, the, at least for the near future? As far um, as hopefully practice? to get some rest, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> a lawyer for the couple said they are cooperating with law enforcement officials and that no arrest warrants have been issued for either one of them. But Tanya Harding could be removed from the U.S. Olympic team whether she is arrested or not. U.S. Olympic Committee officials today said they are concerned that Harding's presence at next month's Olympics in Lillehammer, Norway, may be disruptive for the rest of the team. Whether Harding remains on the team, they said, may be decided in the next few days. I don't think all of this can be settled by Lillehammer. We are going to have to uh, uh, take some very strong uh, uh, steps without abridging the rights of the athlete. Meanwhile, Tanya Harding's bodyguard, Sean Eckhart, who has been released on bail, refused to confirm reports that he implicated Harding in planning the attack on Nancy Kerrigan. I have no comment at this time. Can you deny that? I have no comment. And there was no comment today from law enforcement officials on when and if more arrests will be made, despite the growing number of questions about what role, if any, Tanya Harding and her husband played in the attack. Ken Kashiwahara, ABC News, Portland, Oregon. ABC News in Detroit has learned that the Detroit Police Department has submitted paperwork to the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office for four arrest warrants in the attack on Nancy Kerrigan. While the names on the paperwork are not known, they do not include Tanya Harding. A little later in this broadcast, Dick Schaap and Brian Rooney will report on the financial price Tanya Harding's likely to pay no matter what happens for the controversy that's swirling around her. Nancy Kerrigan and Tanya Harding has been not only for Olympic gold, but for real gold, for millions. Harding may have already lost that duel. Brian Rooney reports. Early this morning, young skaters practiced at the same rink outside Portland, where Tanya Harding, since the age of four, has worked out and dreamed of Olympic gold. The dream for skaters is not only to win a medal. It is also the millions of dollars in endorsement money that can follow Olympic fame. Since Peggy Fleming won the gold at Grenoble in 1968, American advertisers have had a love affair with the ballerinas of the rink. You try it, Peggy. Me? Peggy Fleming earned her millions selling cameras, chewing gum, even vegetable oil. Dorothy, is that your new Ford Tempo? Sure is. Dorothy Hamill sold cars, and the East German Katerina Witt sold all-American Diet Coke. 
More than any other athletes, the skaters have an image of grace and purity American companies like to make their own. Being attractive, uh, having a very good image, being a winner, being in the news because you're a winner. In her quest for a gold, world-class skater Nancy Kerrigan always eats plenty of Campbell's chicken noodle soup. Nancy Kerrigan has already cashed in as the girl next door. But Tanya Harding, who can fix a pickup truck, has struggled with an image of toughness, not quite the girl an advertiser would bring home. Now, even if Harding goes to the Olympics, even if she wins, the scandal surrounding the attack on Nancy Kerrigan could end Harding's hopes for the gold that comes after. Even if she is an innocent um, victim of those around her, she still is, to everyone from little children to, to adults, the image of the visual image of a very heinous act. She is dead in the eyes of advertisers. Advertisers shy away from even the hint of scandal, and there's more than a hint of it here. The sad irony for Tanya Harding is that the plot to make her the winner may have made her the loser. Brian Rooney, ABC News, Portland.